liquor store hookups. I don't know if you've heard about this, but they're a real thing. There's people who try to hook up with somebody at a liquor store, okay? So just picture this. I know, I know, because I lived right near a liquor store for years. So every day when I walked out, every day when I walked home, I saw it happening. It's a real thing. Eh? A guy comes out of a liquor store. He's got 38 cans of pills in her because they're on sale. That's why he bought them. And there's a woman who just magically appears out of nowhere. And she's got black tight jeans on and an Iron Maiden t-shirt. And she looks him in the eyes and she says, Hi, uh, you like beer? I like beer. And he's like, yeah, I like beer. You like beer? I like beer. And she's like, I like, uh, I like party. You like party? And he's like, oh, yeah, I like party. I, I like party too. And then she reaches out and she, she grabs him by the back of the arm and looks in his eyes. And when, when she touches his arm, there's like an electric current of energy that flows through his whole body. And he thinks to himself, that's right. I'm awesome. I rock. And I know it. And now somebody else knows it. I'm, I'm a Viking. I'm a Viking in a blue pickup truck. Come with me, liquor store lady. We've got universes to discover together. And then a song comes up in his head and he's like, This could be the night, the night to remember. We'll make it last forever. And he's high as a kite on adrenaline. And she's thinking, hey, I just want to meet a guy. He's got to be hot. He's got to be hot. He's got to have beer. And the dating sites weren't working. And I stood outside of a, a liquor store. And it took four hours, but it happened. I found the right guy. Hooray. Yeah, I did so then they're off just about just about it's almost over the deal's almost made and then a guy he drives into the parking lot and he gets out of his truck just another customer but he sees them and he says hey bro don't do it don't do it bro i i like to party too but when we got home and i was sitting in front of the tv watching wrestling i look over and she's right in my face and she just, she just about sucked my brain right out of my skull. My brain doesn't work now and I'm all messed up and my left eye is doing that weird thing. And my left eye is still doing that weird thing. And you know, ever since then, I can't even, uh, I can't even whatever. Can't even whatever, bro. Don't do it. And she looks at that other guy and she's like, Jimmy, I told you already, we broke up. And just so you know, even before you met me, you still couldn't whatever even. You still couldn't even whatever, even before you met me. And you never will, because you never could. You never could even whatever. So whatever. And she looks at the other guy that she just met. And she looks at him like she's never even seen him before. She's like, hi. I like you. And he's like, yeah, what's going on here? Now, at this point, one of two things could happen in his mind. If he has any insight, he'll realize that this, is, this sounds like trouble. But love is blind. And at some moments, we choose to be blind, eh? Love is blind, and right now, so am I. He wants us to be true. It's his dream. But he also realizes, I'm a really shallow guy. <laughs> I'm incapable of any intimacy at all. I could never be a healthy woman's soulmate because I am shallow and incapable of intimacy. But I'm proud to be a sugar daddy. That's something I can at least do. I can at least be a sugar daddy. So I'll take her to the dollar store like I'm the original gangster. 
and I'll buy her all kinds of things and maybe it will only come to 40 bucks but I'll get her that $10 inflatable chair and all of her needs will be met. You know, she has some daddy issues but hey, I'm the dollar store daddy and we're going to get these issues worked out. Not too proud to ever be a sugar daddy. <laughs> so he might be thinking that. And that's if he has any insight, you know. Guys who are like that, sometimes they know that. But women don't know that about guys like that. They just don't. So they leave together. And maybe 30 years later, you know, they still like beer and they still like party and they're still together. I don't know. Maybe maybe I don't know likely the guy's dad when he was a kid looked at him and he said son you're gonna love and fall in love with and marry the first one that comes along because you have no self-esteem work on it son work on it don't make the mistake I made with your mom <laughs> it's a very tough world out there it's a sad world but it's also hilarious so, liquor store hookups, it's a real thing. One day, I was walking home, went past the liquor store right near where I live. Woman comes up to me and she says, hey, you live near here? I live right near here. I live right near here. I got my own place. I got my own place. Nobody's home except for a frozen pizza. So she's putting this offer out there and I'm thinking like, when a woman says, I got my own place and she's proud of it, she's probably had a really tough life. Not that that's right or wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But you know that life has been tough. And when she says, there's nobody home but a frozen pizza. Well, you got to hope that frozen pizza has good conversational skills. Or she's going to be pretty lonely, which is what she's trying to tell you. So she read my mind right away. And she says, you want to buy me some coolers? Now, when a woman says, you want to buy me some coolers? She's probably hooked on coolers. My belief is there was some guy out there somewhere and he wanted to make millions of dollars overnight. So he's like, how can I do that without joining the drug cartels? Hmm? So he made a drink that has just the right colors, just the right texture, just the right flavors, just the right caffeine, just the right amount of alcohol to stimulate the pleasure centers in women's brains. So that they become addicted right away. And I know this. I used to do stand-up comedy. And I remember this. Sitting at a table with a bunch of women. And when the coolers came around. Their wallets came out. The money came out. It was all gone. All the money was all gone. And then the credit cards came out. Until there was nothing left. So if you love a woman. Don't buy her coolers. If you love her, don't buy her coolers. That stuff is like a controlled substance that found its way out of a laboratory somewhere. No word of a lie. So anyways, back to my story. I'm standing there and she's like, so you want to buy me some coolers? And I said, no. She's like, fine then. Don't waste my time. I could have been watching mysterious ghosts on security cameras on YouTube right now. But instead, I wasted all this time with you. And it was like we were married for 10 years instead of 10 seconds, you know. She walked away angry. That liquor store hookup didn't happen. <laughs> That's not for me. That's not how I want to meet somebody. But uh, hey, who am I to judge? Who am I to, who am I to say what's well, right for you? The liquor store hookups? Nah, I don't think. I don't. I don't think the odds are very good that's going to work out. But what do I know? I'm alone, right? And I like it that way. So.
Liquor store hookups. They're real. It's a real thing. Watch. <laughs> Watch. There'll be a mini series soon. There'll be a TV show. There'll be a Netflix liquor store hookups. And it'll be famous. Okay? It'll be big time. Well, see you later.